Hello, this is episode 3 of Kingdom of Runes. This episode started off very fuzzy and blurry. It looks like there's a village on fire and then a building explodes. We see Dorica hurt on the ground. She gets up and looks at the soldiers, killing everyone around her. Some try to run but was shot down, others were stabs. The Vol soldiers even stripped some of them of their clothes. Someone grabbed Dorica from behind her. She was startled. But it was someone she knew. Nia was happy to see Dorica all right. Nia began to tell her that the humans suddenly attack. Dorica couldn't believe this and said they should fight. Nia noticed a machine. It was the magic suppression device that was used on Chloe. Nia then told her she has to run and tell Madame Ophelia. Dorica wanted her to run with her but Nia was injured as Dorica asked what happened to her. Nia tells her to head to Ophelia Mansion. She picked up the night doll and played with it a little and told Dorica, she is a big strong girl. Hurry and run and cross the mountains. Nia gave the doll to Dorica as she shed tears she run away. Nia is happy to see her run away. Soldiers surrounded her and finish her off as Dorica runs for safety. We shift to Adonis staring at Dorica as she looks dead and missing arm. Then we see the cool intro. Adonis picks up Dorica she say she's sorry and spits out blood as Adonis say don't die. He wants to know how to bring back Chloe. Dorica tries to speak but it's hard since she lost so much blood. Adonis jumps away from her body quickly as Dorica gets shot multiple times by the soldiers surrounding him. He looks at Dorica dead body saying he don't know what to do, knowing he could bring Chloe back. Isn't enough. The soldiers think they got him seeing Adonis on his knees upset. Adonis stood up telling the humans not to get cocky. He started to use his magic. The soldiers started to shoot. But the bullets looks like they turn to dust when it reach him. The director is watching. Everything unfold on the screen. Adonis using his magic to stop the rest of the bullets. And send them back at the soldiers. The soldiers was dying from their own bullets. Headshots body shots no one was safe. As one soldier stood standing Adonis walked to him slowly. Ekout was on a rooftop with a sniper. With Adonis in his sight, he held his position and waited for Adonis to walk in his line of fire. The moment he had the headshot he fired. It looked like it hit Adonis and cloud of smoke appeared. We see Adonis come out the smoke with the bullet stop in midair. He used his magic and turned the bullet around. He also increased the size of the bullet like he did before and he fired. Ikhout did not expect that as he get his top half of his body obliterated. Adonis continued to walk towards the last soldier. He said if you because humans thought they could live in peace after killing Chloe. Now, he wants to wipe them off the face of the earth. We see the director watching Adonis on the screen he hopes his sister Yuki could make it on time. Yuki makes it into the room the hell the magic. Suppression device and told the officer to hurry to activate it so her brother could praise her. But they was blocked off by people in white coats. They are from National Science Agency. One told Yuki that they couldn't allow them to activate the device. Yuki requested an explanation, and they called her brother. The director answered as the head of. The National Science Agency spoke. She puts the phone on speaker and she light up something to smoke. She said they can't activate the device, and he asked why. She said it's scientists' job to shed light on the world. She began to inform him that the magic particles that emits from the device is actually dangerous. To human. Human cellular dysfunction. Disease. The director explained it was an illness that appeared 10 years ago during the witch hunt. We then see soldiers in the past dying unexplainably. The director knew nothing about this, but the scientist said because they hid it. She also mentioned that there isn't any more witches left. To restore the natural environment, he said nature has fallen out of grace. That atmosphere that would have been able to cleanse the air is gone. She then mentions the kings and the soldiers from 10 years ago as he realizes why the king is sick. We switch over to Adonis as he laughs. And walk towards the soldiers. The soldiers are shooting but can't stop him. The bullets blocked by Adonis magic and sent back. The head scientist hand Yuki back her phone. She tells Yuki to leave. But Yuki run past the head scientist and went towards the machine. She thought they couldn't afford to worry about illness. The head scientist tell the others to retreat and goes after Yuki. She activated the machine quickly. Saying it's of a national importance. The machine is activated, and we see Adonis laughing but his magic disappear, and his quill fly out of his hand. He is shocked. The director sees what happened from his side of the screen. He asked the head scientist how is Yuki. Head scientist covering Yuki's mouth both covered in blood. 
she managed to stop the full activation of the device, as the director is worried for his sister. The scientists told them look ahead, close him. Do they really need this machine to defeat one boy? The director gave an order to the soldiers to charge. All the soldiers charge and Adonis runs for his quill. One soldier passes all the other soldiers and reach Adonis. The building started to collapse and fell down blocking all the soldiers view from Adonis and the soldier that caught up to him. The soldier unsheathes his blade and prepares to get kill Adonis. Adonis accepted his fate and said he finally get a chance to be with you. The soldier strikes and decapitate him. The soldiers wondering what happened. Since the building is in the way. The soldier that killed Adonis comes out of the smoke with Adonis' head. The soldiers celebrate the death of the witch's apprentice. The director Don, he wants soldier to celebrate yet. They need a damage report and to recover Adonis' body. The soldier that killed Adonis seemed to be new. One soldier wanted to check her background but was stopped by the director. He rather know if his sister and the head scientist is alright. We see the scientist and Yuki being carried out on stretchers. An announcement was played for the whole city to hear. We see dead bodies. We see people attending a funeral. We see construction crew cleaning up the mess while they speak of Adonis. We find out it's actually the king giving a speech. He says how he regret not killing Adonis ten years ago. He claimed God was dead and his nation is God. As we see a classroom student watch the speech from her smartphone. The teacher mentioned an exam, but things are difficult since some students died. One student asked, Why did the apprentice side with the witch? And the teacher answered that maybe he was brainwashed. One girl has her head down. As another girl says, she saw what she did. The girl lift her head up and said it was a normal reaction for that situation. The girl walks away as the girl that was seated called her a ugly bee and wanted her to die. We shift to the girl standing in front of a mural. Lit candles and plenty of flour for those who died in the deester. She has a flashback of her boyfriend asking for help. He stuck under a large piece of debris. She looks up to the sky and see more debris coming. She runs for her life saying sorry. The man screams, wait, but a large rock lands on him, killing him instantly. He says she sucks for abandoning her boyfriend. Then she looks at pictures through her phone of Adonis and says that he is kind of hot. A man that works for the government overheard her and scared her. She runs off and the man makes a call. He thinks the high school girl was influenced by Adonis and called him a terrorist. The man asked for that woman to be seized. She may be executed or imprisoned. The man finishes task. Checking the disaster area. As the woman that's over the phone is analyzing Adonis's dead body. She wants us the man on the phone to come back quickly. She discovers something with Adonis' body. As wanted to know over the phone. So she told him the body is a fake. We see Adonis open his eyes. And that's the end of episode 3. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. I highly appreciate everyone, stay blessed stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed the video.